The Dow moved down out of this uh, trend channel to the bottom of the trend channel, which also equated to getting right down here at the 50-day moving average. The stochastics being in the oversold area, now our analysis has to be, can they get it back up through the top of this downtrending channel, number one. Number two, for the last three days, uh, they have not been they, they have not been able to close it back up above the 50-day moving average. Now we are in the oversold area. The 50-day moving average did active support last time. We just have to see them break out through this level. However, the longer it takes for the bulls to close back up above this latest bearish candle, the higher the probability they can do another big swoop to the downside. The NASDAQ was showing more strength, but it also showed a lot more weakness when it got down here below the 50-day moving average. We're now right back up to where it's uh, uh, pushing right on the 50 and the T-line and this trend channel. So this makes things very simple. If they open this positive tomorrow, they should be breaking out through this downward trend channel. They'll be breaking out through the 50 and the T-line. And knowing what indecisive trading does as far as a setup for the next trade or the next swing trade is if we can see after a very strong up move there's a pullback that's very indecisive we want to be looking for that next positive trade or trade movement that tells us they're they're done consolidating and ready for the next move this is SPPI so this makes a, a trade very simple. If we see the markets open up positive tomorrow, and we see this open positive tomorrow, especially breaking through this little resistance level, that means we could have another 10-15% uh, move to the upside. This is all based upon knowing what the candlestick signals are telling you and how to apply that information correctly. We'll see you in the chat rooms.